Hi, my name's Lauren. I'm one of the savanna keepers here at Woodland Park Zoo, and I have Dave here with me. He is a reticulated giraffe. He is seven years old, and he came to us about four years ago. So Dave here is about 16 and a half feet tall, and he is showing off his very impressive tongue. That's actually one of my favorite adaptations on these animals. So you can see behind us here, he's got some of what we call brows. Now giraffes only eat plants, so he's a really big animal, so he has to eat a lot of plants. True or false? Giraffes are the tallest land mammals on Earth. True. The second tallest land mammal is the elephant. African bush elephants can have a shoulder height of 13 feet. So Dave here can eat about 70 pounds of uh, brows every single day. So what he's doing is he's going to use that tongue to help him rip leaves off to help him to eat. Now he's going to eat every part of that, including some of the small branchy bits. So he is what we call a ruminant. So he is really, really good at eating food that doesn't have a lot of calories in it, but actually processing it down so he can get all the nutrients out of it. So what he's going to do is he's going to eat this food. It's going to go into his stomach and then he's actually going to bring it back up and chew it some more so that way he can process it down even better. So every day he is getting about anywhere from 30 to 50 pounds of food a day. In the wild, he would eat primarily acacia, which is a type of plant found in Africa. These guys are found all over Africa. There's anywhere from two to nine subspecies of giraffe because we are constantly finding new information that helps us decide what is most closely related. True or false? Giraffe spots are unique. True. Think of a giraffe spots like fingerprints. Each individual has their own pattern. Here in the savannah, we have two different species of giraffe. We have a reticulated like Dave, and we have last child who are out there behind us. Now Dave looks a little bit different than our Rothschild giraffe. He has this lighter brown coloring and these really big spots, and a Rothschild giraffe has a much darker spot that actually has a lot more jaggedy parts to it and a softer edge. So if you guys come out here, you can see that we have two different types of giraffe here, which is a really cool thing. True or false? Giraffes like to lie down to go to sleep. False. Giraffes spend most of their lives standing, even while sleeping or giving birth. So his tongue here, if you guys can see that, it's very prehensile. And down here, he actually has a tongue that is different colors. So if you look, he's got purple down at the end of his tongue there. So what that actually does is it acts as a natural sunscreen. So when he is eating for many, many hours a day, he could actually get a sunburn on his tongue. So it's very important for him to be comfortable eating. So that's a really great way that they've adapted to help them survive in that environment. It's also incredibly tough. Acacia has very sharp thorns on it. And what they do is they're able to wrap that tongue around and remove the leaves without hurting themselves. Hey. Lower your carbon footprint to do your part against climate change, which is raising temperatures and causing drought in Africa. Taking a stance on climate change can help save both humans and giraffes. So giraffe in the wild eat mostly acacia. And one of the ways that you can help them is by actually picking out pieces of wood that are not, that are sustainably harvested. So they will be stamped by the Forestry Stewardship Council if they have been. And that's a great way to help giraffe in the wild since they are a vulnerable species. Giraffe enthusiasts can stick their necks out for giraffes and help support conservation efforts by visiting Woodland Park Zoo, which works with the Giraffe Conservation Program as a conservation partner.